Alrighty, I have a quick construction update and with some correction to our information on the new coaster as well. After the ACE event yesterday, Peter, who's in charge of maintenance, planning, and projects, I believe at Canada's Wonderland, I don't know his in total his total job description, but it's very important. He basically picks new things. Um, but as you can tell, land clearing has started on the new coaster and it will progress rapidly. Um, it has been confirmed, which I find really interesting, that it will not be a Winterfest edition. I find that both puzzling and confusing based off of what previous information we had learned and heard, that basically a lot of the new additions coming to Canada's Wonderland would focus on being both available for Winterfest, um, and launch coasters technically are built for colder weather. A lot of launch coasters can operate in winter, and we originally thought that that was kind of the route that Wonderland was going down. So we had just assumed that the new coaster would operate during Winterfest, but that is simply not the case, according to Peter. But what's even more interesting is Tundra Twister can operate during Winterfest, Peter confirmed, and they are just looking for further clarification if they're going to do that or not. So there's no concrete answer on if it's going to run during Winterfest, but there's a chance. So I thought that was really interesting because Tundra Twister, from what I understand, would use hydraulic fluid, and hydraulic fluid is one of those things that are a little more restrictive in colder temperatures because it kind of thickens um, and that's what prevents a lot of roller coasters with lift hills and moving spinning rides from operating is that hydraulic fluid during Winterfest events in colder temperatures, especially up here in Canada. So I thought that was really interesting, but he did mention that friction was the main concern for the new coaster. Would it make it through? Um, some other facts about the new coaster is it will have seven cars, not six, and it will only complete one lap. That is not fully, fully confirmed, um, but they uh, were looking to increase capacity, and I think that they're going to go with one lap. Now, this is really interesting because we had heard that they had gone with eight car trains and they were only going to do one lap. We had learned that about three weeks ago, but it looks like Peter confirmed just seven cars. So it's a little interesting because it's competing kind of the information we received, but Peter would know best. So we're going to go with what Peter said. It's going to have seven cars and only do one lap. With that being said, um, they are definitely progressing with construction really rapidly. Um, I have a feeling they learned their lesson from the restaurant. There will be a restaurant video today as well. I think today might be a, a three-day video, or I might just put the restaurant video up tomorrow. I might actually just go to Wonderland again right after uh, recording this video. Um, I'm recording it first thing in the morning on Sunday, and I might actually just go film some more footage and try out some more food, get the chicken under my belt, but the food is really good. So again, you'll get my total review of that, and I'll show you guys the restaurant in depth. But yeah, it's really exciting. Um, Wonderland also changed their answer from, if you remember the previous Ace event question period with Peter, he said that um, capacity wasn't always something Wonderland was going after in terms of attractions. And he kind of changed it this year. He said it was something they're going after, but cost is something more on their mind. Obviously with COVID and taking out large sum loans as a company, cost is going to be on your mind. So I just saw that in that translation to his answer. Um, if they can get capacity and cost together, then they will do that. If they cannot, then obviously cost outrules capacity. Um, and I have a feeling that's what this coaster is. I... I think he also somewhat confirmed he has a relationship, not like a, a person, like a, a relation, relationship, relationship, but he has connections to art engineering, which is maybe why this is again chosen. I don't, I wasn't impressed with art engineering in terms of Guardian. I even taking out what isn't art engineering's fault. Not a fan of the track design and the trains. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see this coaster. I've watched POVs and it sounds really smooth, so I'll give them that. And Guardian was a first of its kind, whereas this is not a first of its kind. So again, it's a newer company and with all newer companies, there's obviously learning curves and it does look from POVs that it's a butter smooth coaster. So I'm truly excited. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.